I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. Hello, welcome back to Stanley Parable Part 5. All these co workers were gone. What could it mean? Bonk. Stanley decided Bonk. to go to the meeting room. Perhaps he had simply missed a memo. I got a memo for you. So I'll unzip my pants. Bonk! Whoop, yeah, fuck that bitch. Whoop, when yeah, Stanley came to bitch. a set of two open doors, he entered the. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee thing. lounge first, just to admire it. Wow. Yes. This room. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Oh yeah. Bum, 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 bum. A, a Yet there was not a here. single person bum, bum, bum. here either. Doo -doo. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's office, hoping he might find an answer there. Oh no! Oh no! 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 Not again! I won't be part of this. I'm not going to encourage you. I'm not going to say anything at all. I'm just going to be patient and wait for you to finish what <laughs> you enjoy doing so much in this room. Please take your time. Leg it in here. All right, all right, all right. It's kidding. All right. I hate you. Coming to a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Boss, well, we're gonna have to talk about my race. Need more monies. Need more monies. Ha! Oh shit! Was I not supposed to do that? Um. I think I'm supposed to be in there. I don't think I was supposed to do that. I just want to see if that would work. Oh, man. Oh, man. I don't... Oh. <laughs> Fuck! <laughs> Did I <to> restart? <laughs> um... What the fuck did I do? Room closet. You always love me, right? Come on, talk to me! I'm sorry! Fix the game! Though, all these doors have opened. Um. I, I don't know what to do. I'm probably. What? Okay. I I don't understand what's going on now. Did it reset? Why did the door just slam in my face? What's going on? Where's my narrator friend? Room closet. I'm sure nothing nothing's happening around here. Down there, nothing down there. Boss, boss, I broke the game. I still want that raise. What the fuck do I do now?
gotta be something to do. Although he stopped talking, that makes me think I definitely did something wrong. I shut you. You don't open. You don't open. You don't open. You don't open. You're still shut. Oh, guess I'm resetting. That was wonderful. A soft wind blew outside and perhaps rain started. And if it did, it stopped shortly Bonk. after. Stanley hoped that he would one day see weather. Yes. I wish I could see weather. Aha! At least my friend's talking to me again. I'm gonna try that again. When Stanley came to a set of two open doors, right he entered here? the door. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. I'm going to try to do a the lounge speed run sublime, and see if I can get through this door art. right here. But eager to get back to business, Stanley took the first open door on his left. That's how I handled my life. And so he detoured through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, and got back on track. Yeah, I'm, I'm gonna, wait, that's... Oh, that's the door. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, okay, hold Stanley on. decided to go up oh! to the hoping he might find an answer. Hey! There. Hey! I like it in there! You piece of shit! I hate you! I'm breaking your game again. Coming to a staircase, I'm fucking Stanley clobbering it. To his boss's office. You looking at porn in here? Yep, I'm gonna break your shit one more time. Just because you did that. Alright, ready? Alrighty. Uh, whoop you up! Stepping. Yep, fuck you. Okay, make a run for it. Make a run for it. See if I can get through that door before it hits me in the face. <laughs> hey, fuck you. Run! Another train! Okay, so that's the door I came through originally, but this door was open. Let me through, let me through, let me through, let me through. Damn it! Oh. I really wanted to go through that door. Man. Close my fucking broom closet on me. Okay, so I guess this is... This is actually just a glitch. I think. isn't it rich what a life it would be to have to pick just one why did it let me in here extreme bathrooms okay well this was quite something does anything else open up open I 
don't know if that always opens or not. Let me go explore again. Make sure nothing changed. No. No. I'll be back for you for a second, baby. No. 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 Nothing down there. <laughs> Anyone changing here? No. 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 And no. Doesn't even give me an option. Alrighty, well, I guess I'm restarting again. Operation, stop breaking the game. Why the lights out? Why? I don't like change. I do not like change. All right, they're getting pissed at me. Stanley came to a set of two open doors. This was not the correct way to the meeting room, and Stanley knew it perfectly well. Perhaps he wanted to stop by the employee lounge first, just to admire it. Don't tell me how to live my life. Standing now in this incredible room, Stanley for the first, but eager to get back to business, Stanley what? took the first open door on his left. You got it. Now stop breaking your game. You better have that broom so closet he unlocked. Though. Through the maintenance section, walked straight ahead to the opposite door, okay, so, and got back on track. So this door, so that's where you come from, but yet the oh, they lead to the same fucking place. Now nah, I feel smart. Yet there was not a single person here either. Feeling a wave of disbelief, Stanley decided to go up to his boss's yeah. office, hoping he might find an answer there. You got Coming it. Into a staircase, Stanley walked upstairs to his boss's office. Okay, now could you always go in this bathroom? No. Oh yes, yes you could. Okay. But the, thought I accomplished something. You looking at porn yet? Yes, you are! I knew it! Oh. Wait. <gasps> no! No! What? Wh whose office is this then? Uh, yes, please. Where the hell am I going? What the fuck was that? Did someone just whisper Stanley? What the fuck is going on? Am I going anywhere? Back in the office. This is creepy. I don't think this doesn't actually go anywhere. Uh... Yeah, this shit doesn't go anywhere. That's weird. Alright. Well, that was something. The boss. The moment he entered his manager's office, Stanley froze in his tracks. I Not didn't. a living soul anywhere. Could he really? I mean, I'm the boss. Him? Move out this of the way. Too much for Stanley to take. Too much for what any man to take. He fell to his oh. knees, bursting into half moans. 
half sobs, the guttural retching of life from a man denied any hope, any reason to keep going. Here on the floor, he lay prone, paralyzed by fear for nearly a full hour. But when at last he began to move about and survey the situation, he found a keypad behind the boss's desk. What could it mean? Was it a sign of hope for Stanley's future? Alas, it was not. For although this keypad guarded the terrible secret of Stanley's past, it had been assigned a four-digit code so devious and so it's gotta be in here somewhere. It's that gotta be no in here somewhere. man could ever hope to guess it. 2845. Oh. Statistically, nearly impossible to guess blindly ever. 2... A four five. Yet incredibly, by simply pushing random buttons on the keypad, Stanley happened to input the correct code uh -oh. by What's sheer happening? luck. Amazing. Uh -oh. He stepped into the newly opened passageway. Okay. Down the good there, fella. Why does he have all this in his... What is this, Montgomery Burns? Who the fuck has an elevator in their office? I don't understand that one bit. Does he keep his slaves down here? Mm -hmm. His sex slaves. Just kidnaps people and he has sex with them in his basement. Descending deeper into the building, Stanley realized he felt a bit peculiar. I always it was a stirring of emotion in his chest, yes. as though he felt more free to think for himself, to question the nature of his job. Why did he feel this now, when for years it had never occurred to him? This question would not go unanswered for long. That is correct. Wow! Did that just short circuit? Stanley walked straight ahead through the large door that read Mind Control Facility. Uh, escape? Uh, no! Escape! Escape! Although this passageway had the word escape written on it, the truth was that at the end of this hall, Stanley would meet his violent death. What was that last part? Death, you say? Uh-huh. Sure I will. Mm -hmm. You're tricking me. The door behind him was not shut. Stanley still had every opportunity to turn around and get back on track. Oh, yeah? What are you hiding back here? You're hiding something. You're just, you're just trying to convince me not to go. But I know better. I'm smarter than you. Stanley was making a conscious, concerted effort to walk forward and willingly yep. confront his death. <laughs> you can't kill me! Yep. Uh, Yellow Swag, Geronimo. Hmm. So what secret was he trying to guard to keep me from finding it? I wonder what it could be. What are you hiding from me? Woo! Oh! My balls. I knew it! They were hiding a roller coaster ride! Yeah! And he was inched closer and closer to his demise. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god, you were telling the truth! You were telling the truth! No. 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 Oh god. Trapped forever in his narrow Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. There's gotta be a way out. There's gotta be a way out. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh no 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 no! I don't like this roller coaster ride. No no no! Oh no 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 no! Farewell, Stanley! Cried the narrator as Stanley was led helplessly into the enormous metal jaws. In a single visceral instant, Stanley was obliterated as the machine crushed every bone in his body. No, killing him instantly. No, no. 
No. Yes. Oh. Oh. Thank God. Oh. 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 That was fucking terrifying. And yet it would be just a few minutes before Stanley would restart the game back in his office, as alive as ever. What exactly did the narrator think he was going to accomplish? The fuck? When every path you can walk has been created for you long in advance, death becomes meaningless, making life the same. Do you see now? Do you see that Stanley was already dead from the moment he hit start? What? What? I'm dead? What the fuck? Ah. Uh, it. Ah. Uh. I don't care, even in hell, I'll turn off all the computers. Ugh. What? Maintenance room? I've been there. Copy machine, I've touched that. Remember this or that or or that? I don't wait. What? Um, that did sound kind of cool, though. Meat. Neat. I don't understand. Am I in hell right now? This is my office. Oh man, I had a dual computer system? What the hell happened to that? I go back to the dual computer system. This is fucking weird. This is fucking weird. Is this an elevator? No. Well, it is, but I can't use it. Countdown room? I don't think I've seen that. Wait, is. What? This isn't where I came in, is it? No. The fuck was that? Get back here! Is that a game? What is this? What's in here? What the fuck? I don't know what I'm doing. And everybody hates me. Is that what the menu used to look like? I am fucking beyond lost now. <gasps> what? Oh, it just starts. Oh wait, I know where I am now. <laughs> this is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. Option, I believe. Um, I think I haven't been over here yet. Oh, 
Where's my trailer? Damn it. Okay. Okay, so the exit's there. So I don't think I looked down here yet. What's down? What's over there? How do I get over there? What the hell's this? So this, this is where I came in, yes. So let me go over here, and then I guess I'm leaving? Who's this talking? I heard that. Narration. It's impossible for the player to do anything in this room. Perfect example of poor level design. Textbook mistake. It's the kind of thing you pick up on intuitively if you have even the most fundamental understanding. What the fuck? Oh, my life is a lie! I'm gonna go restart. I hate it here. I'm gonna go restart. I wanna be back. Hey! I wanna be back in my office. No place like my office. There's no place like my office. <laughs> oh, look at these two. How they wish to destroy one another. How they wish to control one another. How they both wish to be free. Can you see? Can you see how much they need one another? No. No, perhaps not. I'm an independent white male. Sometimes these white things male. cannot be seen. But listen to me. You can oh! Still save oh, it was a dream! You can stop the program before they both No! Push escape. No! Press quit. There's no other way to beat this game. As long as you move forward, you'll be walking <laughs> someone else's path. Stop no. now. It'll be your only true choice. Whatever you no. do, choose it. Don't let no. time no. choose. No! 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 Well. That was terrifying. All right, well, that's all the time I have for this chapter. I definitely just died. But I hope you liked the video. So if you did, hit the like and subscribe buttons. And I will see you in the next Graveyard Shift. Okay, thanks. I love you. Bye! Oh, no! Oh, no! Get up. Oh, no! I'm on you down with the sickness, you mother get up. Woo! I'm on you down with the sickness, you fucker get up. I'm on